Back on the Sports Max Zone, we're switching our attention now to the sport of kings. There has been much criticism of horse racing in Trinidad and Tobago in recent years, with many stakeholders expressing dissatisfaction with the state of uh, Santa Rosa in Arima. Now, one of the country's finest trainers, 20-time champion John O'Brien, is considering taking his talent outside of the country. O'Brien says he still loves the sport in the Twin Island Republic, but thinks it may be time for a change if things don't improve. Well, my, my hope is that, that racing in Trinidad recovers and finds, it, finds its legs and, 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 and gets back to where it was maybe 10 years ago. But, you, you know, in the back of your mind, you always think that they, they have, you have to be exploring other possibilities. And at this stage, um, my, my, my heart is still in Trinidad, but my thoughts could be abroad. Yeah, well, John O'Brien, now joins us live via Zoom to talk more about that statement, which he gave us about a week and a half ago. Uh, John, we understand the issues uh, in Trinidad and Tobago's racing uh, at the moment. Um, a, a stark reality is that your Derby winner, Momentum, back in 2014, uh, had a Derby purse of 500,000 TNT dollars. Your Derby win this year within the headlines was $115,000 in purse. So things have nosedived in Trinidad and Tobago with regard to the purses in TNT. How bad is it and how frustrating it is for you as a trainer who has success and knows, you know, what the financial rewards were compared to what they are now? Well, Lance, as you are aware, we, we prior, to, prior to COVID and in say 2014 2015 we would have maybe between 36 and 40 race days a year and in this year we we're going to have 12 which is is that's the stark reality of it mm. so you told us in that interview that you would not rule out leaving trinidad and tobago um what would have to happen for that development well, as I said, I, I, I love horse racing, but I also, my heart and, and, and navel string is buried in Trinidad. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't really love to leave, but if there is no horse racing, we'll have to, I definitely have to explore possibilities elsewhere. So is there a possibility that racing could crash in TNT totally? Because it's, it's in a coma at the moment. Uh, is it possible that it could die? Well, at present, it's in the ICU, and it could go one way or the other. And, and the all indications at this stage are that we slowly sinking down. So we have to keep all our options open. The environment is not 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 conducive, and and, and the regulations ruling racing, local racing, is is is, is poor. Yeah, and John, I was looking at one of the last purses, you know, as well as the number of horses that took part in that particular race. And it was really, really demotivating because when you think back about horse racing in Trinidad and Tobago and the rich history that horse racing had, you know, growing up, my grandfather really liked horse racing and I would go down to the Arima racetrack just to support. The turnout was massive. A lot of horses on the race cards. What do you think has been one of the reasons for this downturn and you know this dying of the industry well but there are a number of reasons but it, it's it's a cumulative effect um what what really happened was, was that we we are we are we are dependent we were dependent over the 20 years or 30 years on the revenue earned by the betting levy board which where they get the revenue by a 10 percent taxation of, of the private betting shops and of local racing. And in, there was, at, at one time, there were 28 private betting shops. We, we are now presently down to six. So the, the drastic drop in revenue has created, uh, a, 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 there is no revenue to, to, to support local horse racing. And I, I think that the, there is a reason why the, 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 the betting shops reduced to, 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 from 28 to six because of the proliferation of private members' clubs running on casinos, and also the the the, the um, online betting, which 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 is which is available to, to everybody worldwide, and, and, and there is no revenue to get from it from for the for the from the betting levy board. The betting levy board gets no revenue from online betting. 
And John, saying that, you know, you made that comment about thinking about possible options. Have you thought about where maybe? Well, I wouldn't like to, to, to say because it may compromise a lot of opportunities because there are, there are a number of, of, of opportunities at this time. Mm. Um, we see that a lot of writers have been steadily leaving TNT. Brand Boudram Singh, John, who writes for you or have ridden, has ridden for you, uh, is now in Canada doing well, actually won a stakes race uh, this past weekend. Um, the jockey colony in Trinidad and Tobago has also suffered in recent years, hasn't it? Yeah, we, the last race day we had, a, I think the last race we had 12 horses in. And one guy had to scratch his horse because there was no jockey available to ride it. Mm. Uh, well, the good thing is for, for, for the next couple of months is that the guys, the guys from Canada, there a number of them have returned. And even Brian himself is back in Trinidad. I think he came in last night. Yes. And you may find him riding the next race day, you know, mm. because the Hastings and Asinobia Downs have closed. Yes. I think Century Mile closes sometime in early November. Yes. Month end, actually, yeah. At Century mm. Downs. All right, uh, yeah. John, we have all been impressed with the work you have done as a racehorse trainer in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we know that you're also a pilot by profession, probably retired by now. But um, we would hate to see you leave Caribbean uh, horse racing. So let's hope things improve in Trinidad and Tobago and uh, that racing is revived in some way, shape or form to keep John O'Brien at Santa Rosa Park. Well, I didn't say it was outside of the Caribbean, Lance. Ooh, we're getting some hints, Lance. I, I, I said that deliberately, you know, because I, I was hoping that you would respond. And you did. <laughs> All right, John, well, we, we'll be in touch. And as we said, um, you know, as racing people in the Caribbean, you know, we have all embraced uh, Caymanas Park, Garrison Savannah and uh, Santa Rosa Park racing. And um, it's sad what's happening in TNT at the moment. Let's hope that things can improve and um, we'll see racing revived in TNT. Thanks, John. Thank you very much, Lance. Have a good day. Yeah, back with more on the Sportsman Zone after this.